lovely, beautiful soul. Welcome to you guys. Um, pick a card for the year 2023. What can we expect? We are going to take a look at it. This is a two-part reading where we are going to take a look at the energy when it comes to your life, career and love and we also will take a look at the short video where you can look at the astrology what can you expect when it comes to your sun moon or rising it's a short one minute um video all the links are down below in the description box so you can just click and go it's a fun way so if you come from a short this is then the second part of your reading where we are going in deep on the energy that 2023 is going to bring you when it comes to your life career and love now that being said let me introduce myself before we continue my name is Noraima from the phoenix star if you are new to the channel hi welcome i'm thankful you found me if you like the vibration don't forget then to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time i post a video and if you are already part of the fam the growing tribe hey love thank for that you're back again fam so yeah we are going to hit 2023 your calendar year because i'm a person i i i look at the solar new year kind of a situation so i look at both but when i'm going to put uh kind of planning my um a vision board i would i love to do it in that kind of a way so yeah that being said rambling let's go to your piles let's see what uh piles you have so you have three piles to choose from for your first pile you have the santa claus and for the second pile you have the reindeer and for the third pile you have the um, snowman so i will give you guys 30 seconds to breathe in breathe out you will have timestamps for everything down below so you can just click and go to the pile you have chosen and keep in mind this is a second part this has two parts we are also going to take a look at short and yeah 30 seconds uh meditation goes in right now So my lovely beautiful power one you guys um, have chosen and uh, the Santa Claus as your uh, emoji you see three piles this is for love we will take a look later and this is for career uh, timestamps are down below for everything so if you want to come back and recheck what was it when it comes to career or with love in 2023 you can just then click and go um, I suggest you put the piles that you have chosen in the in the comment box but for now let's start with the energy how is life treating you when it comes to 2023 so you start with sun spirit yes let me put it like so and then you also um let me put this first so then you also have a middle world together with the crow together with oh the coyote i love this card oh things are going to good look good for you guys i just love it 12 13 12 13 36 so nine three four nine and this is one and then you also have 
Mama Jumbo Shine together with uh, Ay Ayizan Miracles. Beautiful. And then you have Hydrate together with Build Strength. So uh, we will take a look at the tarot later on, but let's first go for the energy of 2023 for you guys my lovely beautiful by one so um what i'm getting for you guys is 2023 the overall energy for you in 2023 will be of a lesson a lesson the world is going to be very important for you guys. And what do I say? Like you are going to learn in the world. It's very strange. You'll be like, no, I'm a, I am from the world. No, 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 honey. What I'm trying to say is that uh, normally you will kind of have an idea like this is what I'm going to do. But this time it's like the world is going to teach you. Um, meaning like the coyote spirit is something... That I always say like this coyote will bring you in a detour. Like you want to go to a specific place. Okay. That is what you want to go. But how it will happen. That is this. This beautifulness. That the coyote will take you on a detour. Where you are going to unfold something within yourself. That you yourself didn't know it's within you. But I really see that this 2023... People, uh, people will come to you and teach you the lesson, the wisdom of life. For some of you, you will be in the spotlight, great spotlight. You will sit on top of your throne. But it's like a mentor or a guru is coming into your life and will teach you something more of something you did not know. Because the sun, together with um, um, the, the coyote, is giving me higher power. You know, the crow also. So it's giving me that a person or a situation, life is going to teach you. For example, you might go to a new job. And you might think, oh, I'm going to become a manager. But in the job, for so you guys have an example or can imagine what I'm trying to say with this energy is that in that job, you will learn the lesson of what it takes to become a manager because somebody can come to you and, and, and kind of uh, like um, telling you this and this and that. And you must work with what you... Um, have learned or they will teaching you along the way kind of a way like um, how to work with it even if you don't know it it's kind of like you need to fake it till you make it kind of a situation but it's not fake it's within you you know this the only thing is it's like it's now becoming impractical it's something that you have studied something that was within you but now you are going to put it into this world so you the energy is making it's giving me the energy of the temperance you have then the hybrid or angel human and it's taking the energy and make it something into earth you guys have been manifesting this and now it's coming into the world it's coming in world it's coming into your reality and now it's like oh you need to now Put the practice in it. You need to now become it. And for you to become it, the coyote will take you by the hand and will show you what you need to do. It isn't going to go right away to the throne. No, there is lots of knowledge and wisdom that you yet need to see. But your guide, your spiritual theme is going with you along the path. And it's beautiful because it's kind of like own up though. Continue owning up to who you are. Looking at the shine together with miracles. Like continue owning up to it because this is who you are. This is beautiful, powerful energy. This upcoming 2023 for you guys. I'm very excited. Like if this is is this is what you can expect. It's giving me like the king is coming to its throne. It, the king, the person you felt, the person you want to manifest, the person you wanted to create is now here. Ring the bells, yeah. It's here. 
So now you need to put it into practice. And it's not going to be directly sit on your throne, as already said. With your health, continue to um, hydrate yourself. And not only that, um, do something of sport, movement, you know. Build some strength physically, emotionally, spiritually. You need to build some strength in this 2023 because it's going to take a lot of you. Um, have a have a way of planning and strategizing of of uh, being kind of like a virgo like on top of your ish kind of a situation that is what i'm getting and also um if something doesn't go your way it's going different don't don't fight it don't fight it continue moving forward be persistent you know but do not think like, oh, it had to go that way. No, because this coyote is going to bring you what, where you need to be. And later on down the line, you will come to realize why the detour was like that. Okay, so let's take a look for your tarot for 2023 energy when it comes to your life, my lovely, beautiful Pile one for the 2023 energy for you guys. Underneath the deck, you have the five of cups. So for the 2023 energy, my lovely, beautiful pile one, you have justice in the reverse. Together with the queen of cups upright. And the king of wands in reverse. Okay, what I'm getting for you guys, my lovely, beautiful power one. Um, you have to take action though. You have to take action. Go do what you like and love. But really um, keep things in balance. Continue being fair. Because here's the thing. Like the coyote spirit is kind of giving you a detour. But you need to balance and see the truth for what it is. Because there is something that you need to learn. That is why you have the coyote. And that is why it's taking you not directly to your place. Because there is something you need to learn. But if you are afraid to see the truth or afraid to move forward, you know, like, let me give you what I'm getting, just to give you guys an example of what I'm trying to say. So let's just say you want to, you want to um, become a bodybuilder, okay? You want to become a bodybuilder in that kind of a way. But meanwhile, that's the love that you have to be like, oh, this 2023, I want to be, I want to put my energy in building my body kind of a situation okay doesn't have to be as an example for everyone it's different but the thing is you have the law for it but next to the law you need to be true to yourself what are you doing when it comes to taking the action king of wands are you taking the action are you are you really working with a passion are you putting fire into this situation because you need to have the drive to do it though. And then next to it, are you watching your eating habit? Are you keeping, uh, are you counting the skills? Are you keeping things in balance? Are you really working towards it? Are you seeing that, oh, too much sugar ain't not good if I want to build my body kind of a situation? Are you seeing the truth? Are you also judging yourself? By the action that you are not taking. Because this is really something you need to kind of like also judge yourself. Is what I'm getting. Because that is the thing. There is something you don't see in yourself. You only have a certain way. But there is a reflection of yourself that's going to happen. And then you can come to realize like, oh, wait a minute. I also have to do something about this, you know, because 2023, this beautifulness is for you. But if you don't do nothing about it, if you don't put passion in it, if you don't look at yourself and judge yourself, like nothing will happen. Like then you will come back and be like, oh, 2023 wasn't like this for me. And the thing is, you might think, oh, then I go 
I will um, write, um, um, subscribe myself to a gym, membership gym for a whole year. But maybe this coyote spirit is going to take you actually outside, not in a membership. Maybe this coyote spirit will be like, no, you think you are going to the gym? No, we are going to walk. Every day, walk a certain amount of time. While you think, no, to build my body, you have to be there. This coyote is going to teach you that, no, it's, we are going to do it different. What works for you and not what you think it should be. And then later on, with time, you see that, oh, this coyote actually already putting me outside working, working, where it becomes a, a, a regular thing, you know, it becomes, a, how do you say it in English, yeah, not my first name, my second, um, uh, it becomes a pattern that you wake up at that time, you go, you put your, your, your clothes on, you go walk, and you come back, you eat, in that kind of way, it becomes, a, a, um, how do you say it, why do I always forget that, like um, um, a schedule, you know, and then before you know it, because going right away for a year membership, it's a lot of pressure on, it must be this way, and often you will not even hold on to it, you know, to going every day but if you just take like okay I'm gonna start with this amount of walk and then that and then that so that is what I'm trying to say with the coyote spirit it's now not to put gym membership to everybody no what I'm trying to say is that you might think you must go like this and it's set like that no the coyote is taking you a different way so only thing is though Take action. Keep things in balance. And don't forget to judge yourself. What is your wrongdoing? And see the truth for what it is. Now, this is the part where uh, for, um, for 2023 energy. Now, let's go for career. Let's see. What can you expect, my lovely, beautiful power one, when it comes to your career? Mm. Let me put it here for 2023. I will put this like so, so we can continue because this is this is your overall energy. So for the career cards, you have Grand Cross, Provoker, and then you also have. Rain, Purification, Together with Iceland, I Solution, uh, Solitude, why did I say I Solution? <laughs> Together with Wind, Activate, Solitude, Activate. Um, then you have Druid, Hold the Space, Together with Sage, Be Devoted and Committed. And then you also have Jane Fonda. If you in if your influence has legs, keep them moving. A mock shot is a free headshot. A name that looks good in the light looks better on a petition. Okay. And then you also have Serena Williams. A podium finish doesn't a podium finish doesn't mean you're done. Sell a style that can be bought. Be your own empire. Um, um, umpire, umpire. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. It's kind of like written different, right? The empire should be, it's written umpire. But yeah, mm, let's see for you guys, my lovely, beautiful pow one. I wanted to say two because I changed the cards, but no, it's it's yet still one. So, part one, when it comes to career, um, there is a change coming, though. There is something that will that has to go wash away. Um, is what I'm getting when it comes to um, your career. It is something of. Um, for some of you, it will become big. The moment you let go of some uh, of the pressure, some of you will move away. Is what I'm getting. 
Some of you will work for yourself or work alone. Work at home. There is something where you will be happy you are doing it different this year. But it's not going to be easy. It's not. It's not going to be easy. But you can handle it. It, it kind of starts with uh, making you feel like there is something wrong or why is things going like this kind of energy is what I'm getting. But it's because there is a change in the wind for you. There is something different coming that you need to do. It's making you become a total person. If we, an, another person looking at the... At your life cards also going back to that part but it's it doesn't matter looking at Jane Fonda also like you might you you might kind of like don't be discouraged when this situation happened where you think like oh I have a bad start because it's not a bad start is is changing your direction because there is something of you need to do it alone. You need to stand up for yourself kind of a situation in this. It's something of, oh, um, you kind of like need to know your boundaries or set healthy boundaries. And as the Serena card is saying, like a podium finish doesn't mean you are done. So if this chapter is closing in the beginning of the year is what I'm getting with this. In the beginning of the year, there might be a change of. So in April, the change is here. But in January, February, March, there is a kind of a like a cleansing of getting rid of who isn't you anymore. Because there is a change coming April, May, kind of a situation the change is here but you need to really know who you are stand your ground set, set healthy boundaries set healthy boundaries and hold space for change though and as this card is saying continue this card is saying it and this card is saying it like don't give up it doesn't mean because something is ending or something is changing that it's done over a kind of a way no it's a new you keep in mind it's also with your um it also kind of a come back to the coyote because what if you are have to become the king of your own life and the king works for itself that means the job that you were holding on for you, to yourself or the thing that you were actually had to kind of begin to do the passion of be, um, starting your own um, your own business you know it will get rid of what isn't working you know so in that kind of a way keep that in mind that not because this falls off it's the end game no Continue moving forward. Be devoted and committed. So let's see for your career card when it comes to the tarot for the year 2023. What can you expect? My lovely, beautiful pile one. Underneath the deck, we have the hanged man. So for your career cards, you have six of swords mm -hmm. together with the eight of wands. And this is the in-between card. So it's going from the eight is going to the nine of wands. And then you also have judgment. Definitely a change for you guys, my lovely, beautiful power one when it comes to your career cards. Definitely a change. But this change... It starts mischievous though. You sneaking away. <laughs> You'll be like, oh my God, I applied to a new job. Oh my God, I'm going to start my own business. But they must not know. Let me first figure it out. You see how this man is kind of like sneaking away. They kind of suspecting something though. You know, they'll be like, oh, wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. You are doing sneaky things. You know, they are looking for you. Where is power one? <laughs> 
<laughs> but I won't be like, no, honey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go choose for myself the seven of swords. I'm gonna sneak out. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak out. And, and it will happen pretty fast, pretty quick. And for some of you, you will come to realize somebody in your job is choosing for themselves and is sneaking out and leaving the company for themselves. Or maybe, not to be the bad news bringer, the company is the one that be like, okay, we are going to shut down, you know, and leave other people without work. Like the, the boss, the boss be like, okay, uh, we are going broke, y'all. So, but does that mean it's the end? No, continue moving forward. You will, if, if you lose a job, you will get fast and quick a new job. Fast and quick. Looking at judgment, judgment come fast and quick. You know, so the moment you lose it or the moment something like sneaks away, you will have it. You will have it. You need to, it will happen fast and quick in your sleep. But <laughs> once again, it will not happen if you yourself don't take action. So yes, some things are going to be unfair as you have these cards. You know, some things are going to be unfair. But if you take action... It will be fair. Judgment will come for you guys. Okay. So that it is for when it comes to you guys career card. So that you know. Let's go now for love. What can you expect when it comes to love? I do want to say for the career card. Please. Um. Don't forget to continue moving forward, okay, my love? Because you need to have the drive to yet still keep going. So for love, uh, you have a Leo, I will, or I do. <laughs> no, that's Aquarius, I do or something, I believe. I don't know anymore. And then you also have a magician in the mirror together with the second chakra archangel, Ariel, Together with contract, guess what? It is, I do. <laughs> Some of you will get married. Some of you will get married. Some of you will even get uh, uh, children with this person when it comes to love. Uh, but I must say, looking at Leo, Leo is the fifth house. Together with um, the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, uh, sexually, passionately, there is lots of energy coming your way when it comes to uh, love and partnership because the contract is giving me Libra energy and Libra is the seventh house, is partnership. So, and you also have um, Aditi, expand your consciousness together with Thought, divine masculine, mm, sexy. And then you also have unrequired love to get a bit forgive. Okay, so let's talk about it, my lovely, beautiful pal one. I do hope like so, it's straight. So pal one, um... When it comes to love, okay, when it comes to love, uh, there is, as I said, lots of sexual tension, lots of sexual yellow energy, the yellow, why it's giving me yellow, it's giving me, yes, that's, that, that's orange though. Yellow is your third chakra, right? But lots of passion, lots of fire. Your third chakra is ruled by Mars. If you look at the, uh, um, the, I don't know, the Sanskrit, you know? Um, so it's ruled by Mars. So, yeah, lots of, lots of fire, lots of... Okay, what I'm getting for you guys when it comes to love. Your ego might be broken. You have the sun in your... Honey, yes, you have the sun as your main energy. And Leo is the ruler of the sun. Um, so what I'm getting for you guys is really you will be in the spotlight 
when it comes to love also, people um, seeing you, being attracted to you, but don't take all of them as the thing that you need because it's like they are smelling your aroma, how you are walking in your power, but you can manifest and attract everybody and their mama if you want to, but not everybody is for you. And if you have chosen and you have chosen wrong, like don't, don't be too hard on yourself. As this card is saying, forgive and let go, honey, forgive and let go. Uh, but there is a a, a beautiful lesson in this for you guys um, looking at the masculine energy thought you are going to learn a lot it's for some of you sexually you will learn a lot being in a, a, um, a, a the spotlight the, the center of attention um, how to protect yourself safe safe be safe out there sexually also you know because the fifth house leo is also children so if you don't want to become a mommy or a daddy you know watch yourself <laughs> be safe okay but there is definitely a masculine energy of let's go get it as i said like the 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 third chakra ruled by mars and not only that the second one is ruled by jupiter and it's the the, 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 the energy of abundant is the energy of your husband, your, your husband, if you, Venus is your wife, you know, for the people that is like uh, the gender, looking for the gender. So, yeah, um, like if you are the masculine one, then Venus is the, the one that you need to look at. But if you are the masculine one, Jupiter is then, um, so if you, how do you say it? <laughs> People, <laughs> like really, um, the masculine energy, and it's the energy, the masculine and the feminine. If you hear something like there are crows coming in, <laughs> getting their food, I have put food out for them. So if you hear the whole time, doop, 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 that's lots of crows coming in and out here to eat. Okay. Um, back to you. Lots of, whew. but what I'm trying to say for you guys, my lovely, beautiful power one, when it comes to love, the masculine energy, you are, if you are the masculine energy, um, then you will find your wife. And if you are a feminine energy, you will find your husband, you know, and if you, I said energy, okay? <laughs> so, um, so, but, but this situation right here is you are in the Mars and Jupiter energy when it comes to love and Venus and Venus. So it's giving me the energy. Uh, the sun is your ego. You, I mean, Leo is, I will, I am. <laughs> marry you kind of some of you will get married this year some of you will get engaged this year looking at the contract you know some of you will get your partner but there is something of letting go that needs to happen also you know there is something of cleansing cleaning from things that you know um has brought you lots of lessons um but what i'm getting for you guys is that um some of you will get pregnant. I'm not, I'm continue saying that. You know why? Because, because Jupiter expand. Jupiter be like, oh, one plus one. Guess what? I will make three of you. And you'll be like, I wasn't looking for that Jupiter. <laughs> you know? Be like, yeah, but that's what you get. Like, plant the seed. <laughs> so watch out for that. Okay. Uh, also looking at the fifth house also. Um, what do we have in the fifth house? What do we have in the fifth house? Leo. There ain't no planet going towards Leo right now. Leo is empty. A cross of Leo is Aquarius. If you look at sidereal or Vedic astrology, then you know Saturn is going there. Aquarius. Saturn is going into Aquarius. Some of you might be friends a long time with this person that is coming through, your partner. Ah, that is what you get. 
when it comes to Venus, Venus, we, uh, li, um, Libra, we have, if you look at the sidereal though, as the energy, because it's the energy. Let me, let me just, you, some of you will have to let go of the, 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 the past. Let go of the past, the, how love used to be. This is new, new love, new way, different love kind of a situation. And you are, if you are the whole time inside or the whole time like withholding yourself, whatever that it is, it's time for you to get out there. Let's play. Let's have fun. When it comes to love is what this energy is giving me for 2023 for you guys. Let's see. When it comes to the tarot, what can you expect? Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the Ace of Wands, passion, <laughs> fire for you guys. So yeah, for the love uh, tarot, you have the moon going to the sun. I don't know what you guys have with the sun, y'all. Together with the seven of coins. Oh, oh, do you see she's signing her name like, oh. We are planting the seed together with what? Two of cups. Oh, two plus two is what? Three. Did you want that? Did you want it? <laughs> like, I don't know. Some of you already be like, no, you 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 might already have children or something. Uh, and then your partner, another partner comes in, another partner uh, that you, uh, a new partner, you know, um, in that kind of a way, becoming a family or so, something like that. But whatever that it is, or you and your uh, father or mother of your children will get married, you know. Um, but there is definitely a planting of the seed. There is definitely a new beginning. There is definitely a spotlight being hit on you. Everything that was unseen and you felt, you felt, felt you didn't know and now it's coming to light and it's like boom you cannot hide honey you cannot hide people see you and it's all because of this energy you are being in the spotlight you are being in the spotlight it's gonna change you might have a whole plan of how you want to do 2023 like really as you are working on yourself building yourself going for yourself you know it's giving me that yes people see you also as yourself so it's being in the spotlight and it's gonna be great beautiful partnership but there is some that's not for you and there is some that you need to just forgive and let go but whatever that it is whatever you want to manifest when it comes to love it's happening for you my lovely beautiful about two about two about one honey <laughs> you know what i mean but that is what i'm seeing for you guys don't forget to if you want to just fast and quick it's just one minute uh, uh look at your um sun moon or rising sign what you can expect when it comes to uh, the year 2023 so timestamps are down below you can just click and go fast and quick if you want to don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe and if you haven't chosen another pal i will see you then in another reading of mine and have a fabulous one 2023 make the best of it bye bye So, my lovely beautiful pile two, you guys have chosen the reindeer as your uh, emoji. These are your cards. This is for love. We will take a look later for it. This is for your career cards. And this is the energy for your life when it comes to 2023. So, let's take a look. Um, what energy, what can you expect when it comes to the 2023? So, my lovely, beautiful pile two, you have for uh, when it comes to your life, the south node, life depths, together with, um, maybe like so, 
The Gatherer. This reminds me of an old... Um, this female always reminds me of an old uh, person, uh, old friend in school that I had. And then you have completion together with a wild woman. And then you also have a la grief together with um, Erzuli Dentor. Uh, etheric chords then you also have rest and look for fairies okay my lovely beautiful uh, pile 2 when it comes to 2023 what can you expect Okay, uh, first of all, I want to mention you guys' energy while I was shuffling. Your cards just jumped out, especially the wild woman. So things are going to be very wild. You have to be your authentic self. Um, um, kind of like get out of um, looking at the south node depth. That's the really the main energy of do not hold on to the past. Do not uh, kind of like hold yourself back from growing, from going where you need to go next kind of a way because this is something that where you are comfortable in and it's time for you to embrace the wild side of you. Looking at the gatherer, there is an abundance coming in but for that you need to kind of like take it you know you need to take it you need to um it's like oh um i can win a lottery you know saying you can win a lottery but you don't buy go out and buy the ticket or saying you can become your full self and be abundant and fruitful in who you are but you are kind of like um holding yourself in a, in a safe place you know um this situation right here 2023 when it comes to you my love it's actually um looking at the completion it's a karmic cycle that's ending you know and the ending of it looking at the grief card we all say goodbye to a chapter in our life that we outgrown and sometimes it hurt because lots of times if you have a karmic debt that is ending, you are going to see the people or um, it's like we all have read a book, right? And when the chapter is ending, it's like, oh my God, you all come to figure out who will betray you. You will come to figure out who had cheated you. You will come to figure out who is your coworker, your friends. You know, you will come to see the people that you have put on a pedestal, that they are just human beings. So you will feel a kind of a disappointment. So there is definitely a something that you need to look at and be like, oh my God. That's the old me. That's the completion of this 2023 is bringing an end to who you think you are or used to be. It's time for you to now embrace the wild side of you. It's time for you to reap the fruits of your labor. It's time for you to walk in your power and believing in the magic of the world, looking at look for fairies kind of a way. It's time for you to cut cords with people's situation that isn't anymore in alignment with you. That's the karmic depths. We all come with a karma here on this earth and with time we have to cut cords with them so definitely for you guys this 2023 is bringing the energy of an ending of a chapter an ending of who you are cutting cords with people that doesn't align anymore with you so you can have your rest and you can believe in the in the beauty of the world once again but more in your power more in who you really are instead of, you know, the old you. And a chapter is ending, my love. A chapter is definitely ending for you guys. It is a, it is a karmic cycle. It is a karmic cycle and it's a growth coming towards you now. Um, 
and as i said for some it will be beautiful for some it will be ugly you have already lost lots of people um, in your life or you will see people for who they are and you'll be like why are people like that it's because you have to change chapter as i said to pile number one write down which pile you have chosen in the comments so that uh, the timestamps are down below for your your um, career your love and the life so in the in today 2023 when you want to come back and remember what was was it all what was my car saying you can just then click and go to or power one about uh, two or about three career this or love that kind of a situation uh so yeah let's take a look at some i must say two times snakes in your reading hmm Let's see, for your tarot, underneath the deck, you have the seven of cups choices. This one, the three of wands is kind of like this. So it's a going towards reverse. So it's something that you need to keep in mind. So we have the two of swords together with the Hierophant. This is the in-between tarot. So they are going to the lovers. And then you have the three of wands kind of want to go that way. So, um, what I'm getting for you guys is there is a choice you need to make. There is a choice coming. Um, you have to make it with your intuition, you know, and this choice is kind of like has to do with yourself. So you guys, your spiritual team is saying really connect with yourself, connect with your guys, your spiritual team when you have to make a choices in 2023, because, um, it's changing everything for you you know you can you can continue reading the chapter that you are on or you can be like you know what it's time to end it let's go to chapter number two you know so it it is a dedication it is a commitment it is a choice you need to make break the contract or go for a new contract or um change because it's Change boxes. <laughs> I'm just say it like that. Change boxes because the Hierophant is the religion card or the commitment card or the dedication card. Now, if you have, um, if you have, um, how do you say it? Like graduated from your uh, high school, you will go to. I don't know how you say it in, in English. Yeah, I, I live in the Netherlands. You will go to college, right? You will go to college. So, but that's, that's the, that is this in this moment. You have graduated from one dedication, one thing that you were continue with. And it's time for you to go to the next. Okay. It's time for you to go to the next one. But... Some people be like, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to grow. I want to remain where I'm at. You may have that choice. You can choose that. Be like, no, I'm going to do this year over. As this is the two of swords. And some of you be like, no, I, I am going. I am going to a new chapter. I'm going to change the situation. I'm going to cut, um, cut some cords. Ah, my advice is to really move away from the old depths yeah but that's my advice you have free will you have you have to do what i mean honey no pressure absolutely not don't no don't put that on me everybody do it on their own timing whatever this is of commitment that is ending or a new commitment that's beginning but there is definitely a completion an ending a closing a chapter and a new beginning that needs to happen so that you can reap the fruitfulness. Some of you will get married or live together with somebody. Get a contract or something. There is a commitment that is going to be made. But that's the choice you need to make. And that is why you have the three of wands kind of like don't know for sure. Now, let's go for your career cards. I will put your tarot here so we can come back to it. Um, but let's see when it comes to your career card 
for the year 2023. I like this energy for you for 2023. So let's see. For your career, you have Mercury Minds together with oh, Forest Breathe. And you also have Mountain Strength together with Music Harmony. And you also have Air Guardian Shift Your Perspection together with Protection Guardian Drop Your Shield. And you have uh, Indra Noi, the customer is always right, especially when hungry. Baked chips feels uh, fit blue chips. Hmm? Baked chips fit blue chips, never sugarcoat a need for change. And you also have uh, Karl Marx, cut class, test your theory on human subjects, be the post posthumous life of every party this man reminds me of a man that i used to work with um <laughs> that's very strange that that person comes through because that person is very in themselves so maybe that's something for you guys that that person is very much in their self doesn't really connect with other people very introvert was he and also um, lots of people were complaining of of him because he smells a type of a way so yeah for career <laughs> for career um when it comes to your career for 2023 honey we have to Go ahead and do it if you want it. You know, we have to take action. There is lots of moving and action taking when it comes to your career is what I'm getting. Um, but in a good way, in a harmonious way, looking at the music and breathe card, it's something that you want to achieve, looking at the mountain. So you are willing to climb that mountain too, because um, the, the career is presented by the Capricorn energy. Um, so it's Saturn ruled and it's given me the energy of a mountain goat looking at the strength card and the mountain so you are willing to climb this slow and steady willing to climb this um is what i'm getting for you guys and you are eager to learn everything that it is to learn about what you want to do you are going to be known or do the thing that you like and love when it comes to career it's making you, looking at the shape, your perspective, it's making you um, change the way you look at work, career, entrepreneur, whatever this is, your hobby, you know? It's making you change that perspective. You are safe when it comes to this situation. Your, your eagerness to learn is changing things. You are not putting such a weight on your career anymore because it's kind of like you have, um, it's set that this is, that you are, you know, the, the employer of the month, you know, it'd be like, honey, I got this in the bag, y'all. That kind of uh, confidence does this energy bring and you have every right to have it, every right. That is a good, 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 good energy happening because you are working nicely with everybody when it comes to your job. Everybody is collaborating nicely with you. You are going to be a lot on the move though. A lot of, uh, for some of you, it's in your neighborhood, Queen of Swords, that's my beach. It's in your neighborhood or it's a little bit distance, you know, but not, not like overseas or something. No, it's 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 a long travel, two three hours travel kind of a kind of a situation. 
So let's see for your shadow, um, what can you expect when it comes to career? Okay, you have four. Underneath the deck, four of coins. This is the in-between tarot, so it's happening in between. You have the High Priestess together with the Queen of Cups, together with the Ace of Swords, together with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Honey, you will have the money. You will have the money. You are, you are on top of your throne. You are sensing and feeling everything. You know exactly what you need to do. You, the right communication, communication is happening. Ace of Swords. The right choices you are faking. And it's all because you sense and feel everything. Looking at the Queen of um, Cups together with the High Priestess. You are kind of like... Um, Knowing already what you want to manifest, knowing already what you want to create. So it's kind of like going with your dharma. That is why you are climbing this mountain because it's like, you know, sometimes if you are cooking something, you just know the recipe, what to do next. And a person might ask you like, how do you know what to put in? It's like for you, it's so logic. You already sense and feel that this situation right here, you got it in the bag. As I said, from the uh, um, with with uh, these cards, like you got it in the bag. You have the right communication. You have the right training. You have the right sense, and you don't think nothing. You are will not be in lack. Okay, when it comes to career, when it comes to your coins, you know what you are working for. You will not be in a state of lack. You know exactly how to communicate with people to get what you want and to give them what they want. It's such a harmonious energy for you guys. And that's all. You know, Mercury is friends with every planet. Even if they don't like them. You know, that, that person that's like, oh, you can hate, but I still like you. <laughs> like you can hate from outside of the club, but I'm still happy that you are outside of the club. You know, that is Mercury. Mercury be like, oh, you know, oh, there you have person number something outside of the club. But yay, yeah, we still like them though, but I'm inside the club. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even if you see a Becky coming to try to do difficult at you, you be like, okay, hey, Becky, you know, you know, Becky is difficult. You continue being nice with Becky and Becky be like, I hate Pal 2. Pal 2 is yet again, you know, employer of the month. I deserve that spot, you know, because, hey, you're doing your job. You are eager to learn. Some of you will even do a course in 2023, like an extra course to kind of like um, build more knowledge about the thing that you are doing. Um, a course, it can be also a training. There is something of, oh, I, I will learn more, to get more, to, to reach more. There is definitely knowledge, communication with you guys. So, yeah, that is for um, career. Career looks beautiful, just like um, 2023 energy. Now, let's take a look for you. When it comes to love. There is definitely a moving forward for you guys when it comes to 23. It's like you you are done with playing small. You are ready to become big, go big, change things up. So when it comes to love, you have certain truth. Um, together... With door to personal healing and happiness. Door to spirit. Honey, how many doors do you want? <laughs> Financial constraint. Um, once again, a door though. <laughs> door. Three doors. I remember. I will remember. That might be three options. And then you also have uh, Kaddish. Sexual wisdom. Together with Avalon Priestess, Intuitive Awaken. 
and then you also have betrayal together with let go honey yeah we're gonna talk about some some i'm gonna tell you guys some of you will go celibate i'm not gonna lie i'm just put it out there like that <laughs> I did it like that. Rip the band-aid. Rip the band-aid off. Some of you will go celib uh, celibate. I want to say, look at this number. 13, 32, 34. 13, we can turn it around. It's 31. That is definitely 3, 3, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh. We are going in steps, y'all. Three doors, so definitely three, three. Three, three is, a, is a, a magic number. So it's the beginning, three, six, nine, you know, in that kind of a way. So definitely a beginning for you guys. Honey, listen, when it comes to love, as I said, some of you will will be like, no, you know what? I'm going to go celibate or I'm going to go single. You know, I want to kind of like a retreat. Like love is going to be um, or old way of loving. You have maybe a partner. You guys are very long together or you will, this relationship will become a person that you will be very long together with. Um, that you will not let go kind of a situation it's giving me it's like um you know the old closet in your grandma's uh, house you know people that can say like we we are 40 50 years together you know later you can say that then you know kind of a situation or maybe now you can already say it it's like the old ways of love you know um but i must tell you when it comes to love you guys are going to learn such a hard lesson and some of you may retreat because of that some of you may um may even um go celibate or practice the craft of celibate you know kind of a, you know what i'm gonna put the energy in myself um some of you will uh, retreat from um kind of like doing it with just one person um kind of a situation that is a very low energy on law on, on on love for you guys especially sexual it's giving me like if you do it you do it with the knowledge of wisdom you connect and with people that is kind of like um, giving you a great vibe, a great energy in that kind of a way. But um, whatever lesson love is going to bring you guys, my lovely, beautiful part two, it's going to be hard. But there is something of a wisdom in it that you need to get. Because the financial constraint, if you look at the closet, you'll be like, oh my God, we have co-web, we have an old a closet, but there is a golden golden coins document and a very beautiful antique closet you know so it's it's you think what the f is happening you think why do people betray me but the lesson out of it you are going to see the value that you be like oh i'm winning i'm winning actually kind of a situation saturn saturn will not going to give you love fast and quick this year i'm not gonna lie to some of you lots that is why i said lots of you will will really put the energy in the self and if you find love this love will be really for a long time it you will not break up with this person fast and if this person uh, if if this person come and betray you and doesn't bring you peace you know that that is the person that is coming to bring you a very tough lesson you need to find the healing and happiness within yourself before you connect um as i said some of you will even not even you be like this year i want to be, be single you know, you'll be like, no, I'm going to commit to my, uh, to myself and, um, my intuitive awakening, my spiritual, um, 
self instead of um, sexual or connecting with other people. Saturn has a way. Saturn has a way of doing that with people, yeah. Like make you retreat, especially if he's um, he's kind of like <laughs> around your moon. So emotion, you'll be like, no, thank you. <laughs> Let's see for your Sarah, what? Okay, we there. Underneath the deck, you have the Knight of uh, Wands. So for your Tzero, you have the Knight of Cups. Together with the Lovers. Together with the Four of Cups. Together with the Seven of Wands. Honey, in that order. Exactly like that. In that order. Do you see there is the whole time two people in your cards? Here there is three though. You be like, yeah. So some of you are children looking at she is pregnant and then the child is there. For some of you there is a child involved. It's like being holed up above your head. This situation. Yeah. Okay. So when it comes to love, my lovely, beautiful pal too, um, there is a beautiful offer coming in. As I said, for some of you, if love comes in and it comes in stable, it can be a commitment for a long time. You know, that's that. But for some of you, it might be even that this is going to be, uh, cause conflict where you need to defend yourself. Looking at the betrayal card and letting go, you know, but whatever that it is, there is a beautiful lesson within it. Because if you look at your tarot, everything starts so beautiful with a beautiful offer with people that love each other for them, for them to turn their back against each other. You know, in that kind of a way, because the four is going to the five where you first uh, have uh, taken this offer from this person. You, it can happen that for some of you, this looking at the four is going to the five. That there must that that you guys will kind of like not seeing eye to eye, and it may be that you will be like, no, this ain't working, you know. But whatever it is, um, some of you will come above it. Some of you will be like, you know what? We signed up for this. Yes, this is this is tragic what's happening whatever that is happening but if both of you are focused if you want to remain in the relationship you know if both of you are focused you can bring this to victory but for some of you it's like oh no this is a karmic cycle didn't you guys have let me see you guys had yep <laughs> I forgot you guys said that the south node life's death. Yeah, this is for some of you. This is a karmic cycle where you will have lots of betrayal in this partnership before you let let it go, before you release yourself. You some of you might think, oh no, we will come above it. We will come above it. Every time, like you see behind them, there is a whole bushfire happening. They are running away, kind of a situation. So you will come above it, you think, but who 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 has started the fire though? Who did that? Who did that? That's the thing that you guys need to figure out. Who is going to, which one of you partners uh, is going to make the other one suffer? You know, and this person or this situation, when it happens, um, like that person, you guys might have a fight or something, but then it's kind of like, oh no, you know what? I choose you and grab you by the hand and be like, no, let's go for us. We will come above it. Um, and that is the cycle that will happen, that will happen, the betrayals for some of you continue until you find the healing within yourself, until you find um, that, oh, wait a minute, this ain't it. And you will then let go of that situation and you will come then above it. For some of you, if this is something of a commitment that is worth it, 
when it comes to love you really uh, both of you as already said need to look like uh, your eyes need to be both of you focused to go to that situation you know is what i'm getting then you can have it but um if you are single and you be like noraima is that also a good news because it seems like i'm gonna be single or i want to stay single like i said it can happen but love offers is going to happen for you guys in 2023 you will receive a love offer the love is hundred percent coming in but what you do with it is up to you my love are you going to, are you willing to take this ride and once you take that ride um um what the result will it bring it you will see along the way is it a good gamble or a bad gamble is it is it moving you away from your life depths or is it actually, uh, um, is it a new karma or an old karma, a life debt that you need to end or experience? Everything is an experience, you know, but that, let's just say for you guys, my lovely, beautiful, um, love in 2023 is going to be challenging. Um, that being said, but it's all a lesson, a great lesson and the reward after it will be fantastic beautiful where you think you were in a state of lack you will find abundance you will find self-worth you will find um elevation you will find real connection real love kind of situation because saturn doesn't let somebody go through something without rewarding them for the for the persistence of yet still continuous um um finding themselves learning the karma kind of a way now, don't forget to look at your sun, moon, or rising uh, for your zodiac. It's just one minute, a uh, that's Dutch, a short uh, video on what you can expect when it comes to your zodiac um, sign. Um, so yeah, um, timestamps are down below or links are down below for everything. And if you haven't chosen another pal, I will see you then in another reading of mine and make a beautiful, great 2022 three of you guys make the best of it i'll see you bye bye So, my lovely beautiful pile three, you guys have chosen the snowman as your sticker. Um, these are the cards that you have. This is the cards for love. These are for career. But first, we are going to take a look for you guys when it comes to the energy of 2023. Keep in mind, this is a two part. So also your zodiac one minute zodiac reading is down below. Links are all down below. So when it comes to the energy, what you can expect for the year 2023, you have the solar eclipse revolution. This is when it comes to your life together um, with like so together with the rainmaker and then you also have the sacrifice together with flow okay and then you have um, Mame Kum, uh, Komba Bang speak up together with Queen Ya Asantewa level up. And then you also have use your hands to don't, don't, don't use your hands in a bad way, though, you know, <laughs> and then also energy work okay so uh, my lovely beautiful pal three when it comes to the uh, 2023 what you can expect for yourself um honey 
there is a change drastically suddenly going to happen in your life there is something that it's you if you kind of like don't do nothing about it it's gonna destroy you is what i'm getting if you don't do nothing with it it's gonna destroy you and it's a power it's a strength it's something of um awakening it's awakening something within you this situation right here and what it is awakening is a an a, a, a extra power you know and there is power in speaking up there is a power in leveling up there is a power in letting go there is a power in cleansing and clearing what isn't for you this energy is the energy of a feminine energy all your cars is a feminine and i do have males also in this this is a completion of your power it's like Okay, what I'm seeing is very it's very hard to say, but just go with me, please, please. It's it's kind of like for you to hear for some people to hear it, it's kind of like, oh, that's a very hard example to give. But it speaks for lots of people. And it's the message that I'm getting, so I have to tell you guys, okay? This is a power of I'm taking my power back and I will kind of like become more of it. It's like a tsunami comes behind me. And what do I mean to say with that is the example they are giving me is that imagine somebody has taken your power and I'm seeing like a rape situation, you know? Uh, by staying silent, not speaking up to the whom, the person that had hurt you, is giving your power away. Is yet still giving that person the power to manipulate and control you by the damage that they have done to you. But by you speaking up, telling your truth, because, you know, you are kind of like holding that person actually hostage. And that's the thing that lots of people, because I'm getting like this. If this is the person that had done you wrong, if this person, whatever situation that you know that is actually illegal to do or that has taken your power in, in a very violent way is what I'm getting. Or, you know, whatever that it is that somebody has taken your power away. That person, you not speaking of is below him, right? You think. This is you. Not speaking of is below below you this is them this is you you see yourself below but in actuality if i say that word correctly if we do not look at it in um this perspective um you will see it as equal if you if you like if you look at it from above you will see it like this right like you might think Oh, that person that this this to me, this person that. But you don't. What you don't see is that this person thinks, like, till that person open up their mouth. What if that person open up their mouth and tell what I have done, tell what is going on. So you might think yet still that this person has a, a power over you. But this person is actually fearing you. Fearing you. So that is why they are threatening you. Or that is why they are look at you in a certain way. That is why they are even some of them is like trying to avoid you. Because they know that it's, it's, it's an, it, it, it can happen that you open up your mouth. That is what they are fearing. 
while you are fearing what they have done, what, while you are thinking in a different way, they be like, honey, that person has the power because if they speak up, I'm done. Lots of people is giving their power away, thinking, no, I should be scared because that person, but that person is fearing you because you can kind of like break the whole sand castle that they have created. You can break it down. You can kind of like make people see the cracks that they have in their glass house. And some of them, what I'm getting, some people will not believe you. Or some people will yet still want things to remain the same. And tell you like, don't, don't make such a noise. Honey, make noise. If you need to sacrifice those people in your life because you are speaking up, telling your truth. Like honey, then so be it. You are taking your power back in 2023 wherever that is in your life this is the energy for you guys you are cleansing and clearing yourself from everything that started so you can be elevated going with your dharma this is like a completion a coming together and it's going to bring thunder you are you are bringing thunder it's going to elevate yourself. What I'm seeing for you guys is whatever you are going to do. Some of you may do spiritual work, Reiki, work with your hands, whatever that it is. But you might be cleansing and clearing from traumas from the past. If you look at um, the energy work, like open it up all your chakras so that you can... Um, move forward so you can let go so you can go to your dharma looking at the flow card and the solar eclipse the solar eclipse is like uh, it's giving me like you know um the head and the tail coming together this is kind of like it's giving me the tale of um, um rahu and ketu how it all started kind of a situation that is what it's giving me, like the betrayal that had happened, the 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 situation that uh, uh, that was going on. I don't know if you guys know the tale of Rahu and Ketu, Rahu, um, but to say it in a fast way, it's a beautiful story. You can you can type in and listen to people that really like can explain it. But um, there was a kind of a um, how do you say it? Um, nectar. That's not soma. It was a soma, I believe. Um, that was being given to the to the gods and goddesses, and the demons be like, "Oh, we also wanted it." But they um, 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 now I forgot his name, y'all, and it's a shame that I forgot his name. Um, Shiva was it? No, I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. But yeah, was giving like distracting the demons so that they um, they don't come in line to get the soma. And the thing is, like one demon was so sharp. And and didn't wasn't distracted by the dance of a female and was like mm, I know what you guys are doing and what went in line with the goddesses and in, in it's had kind of transform itself and and then the sun and the moon snitch on them or, or on him it was like oh no and he just had the soma and on almost like a drop like fell and then Chuck, they cut his head off, but a drop just popped on his lip, like kind of a situation. So he had eternal life, though. He had eternal life, but because they cut the, the God, I don't know his name anymore, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, but cut his head off, was like, mm, okay, but you know, that's how we do, universe know exactly what they are doing, you know, you think there is a mistake, and nothing ain't a mistake, nothing ain't a mistake, that was planned, y'all, the, 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 the God that was giving all the, the, the that was giving the, um, the creator for creator that was giving the soma to to the goddess he 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 knew he knew that this was going to happen you cannot tell me nothing about it yeah you cannot tell me everything is is beautifully planned so <laughs> then you have the solar and the lunar eclipse so 
when the head and the tail, you know, and if you look at it, it's like coming together, full completion. So that is what I'm getting for you guys when it comes to this. This is a coming together of a full completion of your power. I mean, you are going to work with energy beautifully. Water is very important for you guys in the month of 2000, in the year of 2023. So work with the energy of um, water, five of wands underneath the deck. Work with water and release and sacrifice everything that isn't needed, you know. So you have for your tarot card five of coins. Together with the king, uh, the knight of wands in reverse, together with the four of swords upright. This is the in between tarot, so it's going to the other one. So that is why they look different. Now, what I'm getting for you guys, my lovely, beautiful, uh, about three. When it comes to your energy, honey, there is definitely something you need to give away because it isn't in balance and whatever isn't in balance, you are now releasing yourself off to go to something that you deserve and that is in balance. But by doing that though, the peace that you want, you need to sacrifice. It's sacrificing the the hush hush because the four is in a meditative state you might have thought long and hard about your next action and the thing is while you are finding your peace by speaking your truth you are you are ruffling other people's feather y'all other people are not happy that you are finding your peace and you are kind of like making trouble how do you say it? ruffle the feather or something you are making troubles but you guys your spiritual team is saying um really continue moving forward have the passion like really don't be mean in it don't do it as revenge do it as i need to heal myself I need to level up. I need to release. I need to sacrifice this peace for me to move on, for me to have my enlightenment. I need to cleanse and clear myself of this betrayal that had happened. So it's like I said, if somebody had done you wrong, you holding on to it and stay quiet, you are yet still drinking their poison. You are willingly, freely drinking that poison. But that person is looking at you, hoping, wishing that today you have drink that poison. Oh, I do hope and wish that Pal 3 have drunk, drunk that poison. Otherwise, what if? What if it were off? What if that person doesn't drink that poison today? Of hush, hush, stay quiet. That means that, oops, they will speak up. And you here in 2023 will not drink other people's poison you are cleansing yourself clearing and purifying your your cup that is why i have to say water the emotions yourself you're feeling like really cleansing and clearing some of you might drink moon water you know drink lots of water or or speak nicely to yourself because we are so many percentages of water that really, if you, if you can speak into water and water transform in whatever you speak in it, then what do you think about yourself? Stop drinking people's poison. If you are ruffling their feather, that's, that's on them. But you are going to balance things out now for you. But you need to take action and don't fear the fact that you might find peace, but other people now are suffering. You just need to think like, well, wait a minute. I suffered a long time with you. You know, all those years I have stayed quiet. That was my suffering. The moment you have done that to me, that was the deepest suffering that I had. I will cleanse myself from that energy, you will say. I will move away, but I will not feel 
burdened by the consequence that you guys now need to have because of me speaking up. Because that's it. As long as you take the consequence, as long as you stay st quiet, other people will, will be okay with it, you know? Because then they don't have to take action or have the, sec uh, the, the consequence of it. You know, you have been in jail for a long time. But now it's time for you to be like, no, I don't want to have that energy anymore. I don't want to carry that anymore. I don't want that in my pure, clear cup. So release yourself from it. Sacrifice it. Speak up. So that is when it comes to the energy, you guys have a heavy energy in 2023, but nothing that you cannot handle, my lovely, beautiful pal um, three. So really this completion, this betrayal, you need it. You need it. It's, it's bringing you closer to you, to the enlightenment. So let's go for the careers card for you guys, my lovely, beautiful part three. You have part of fortune increase together with, let's see, tsunami, a wake up call. I was heading that tsunami behind me that energy that I said right together with ceremony invocation and then you also have love compassion and then you also have drum hmm? why do I have it here those these are not the cards that I should have that's weird I should have grabbed other cards Guess what? This is what you should have then. Together with a uh, white witch. Did I? I'm, I'm very confused. Yeah, I, I grab white witch. Uh, be the light is, is what you need to have then. And then you also have Charles uh, Ponzi. Keep your conviction even when facing multiple. Got, uh, got rich quick. Leave town quicker. <laughs> Don't get buried in the pyramid you built. Okay. And then you also have Naomi Klein. Pedal goods about bad. Distance is the stable currency. Or against ink. Original against ink. Or against ink. So, for your career, my lovely, beautiful pal, three, when it comes to your career cards, something is going to happen uh, if you have invested, is what I'm getting. That's very weird, <laughs> but it's, it's the message. For some of you, you might have invested and you see that the stock will go down kind of a situation as you know um with the tsunami it will retreat itself where you think oh my god where's the sea and then it comes back like double the amount so it can be for some of you a great <laughs> increase in money coming your way or a great increase in what you are doing it can overwhelm you if you are like the ponzi scheme like you be if you are in 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 bad things then guess what you know as this card is saying like you can get rich quick but leave town quicker okay looking at a tsunami also but it's 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 not for everybody in a bad thing you know but for some of you this is becoming original this has something to do with um get rich quick or or stable or putting your brand kind of a situation um you might kind of like feel like you are um when it comes to your career because of this increase that is coming you might think like am i am i um Am I kind of like betraying people? You know, it's like coming to a realization of are people buying what I'm selling? You know, like, for example, what I'm getting is like you might buy your product very cheap in. 
you know and then you change it up and sell it um, sell it with a price and you might kind of like people coming in an abundance of people coming in and you 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 kind of like be like okay where there was none there will be now tons and you are starting to realize like oh people are buying this even though it is a scheme you know it's it isn't a scheme it is actually work smarter but you are doubting it because you have kind of a beautiful heart that you kind of like don't um it's business it's business is how branding do you know because i'm really good but but you have such a great heart with you you are such a kind, beautiful people, person that you be like, no, it's it feels like I'm cheating that those persons of something, you know. But the but you guys, your spiritual team saying, unless you are not doing illegal things, you know, it's okay. You are going to get sudden wealth fast and quick, and people buy. You know, because you see it lots of times also on Amazon. Like really, there are two different products, two different prices. And the choice they make is because the energy, the feeling that they, that a person be like, okay, no, I prefer to choose that one because it looks more original, you know. So you will then buy something that you find worthy to put a price on. Is it a scheme? Because it's the same thing, the same place. Let me tell you something. I have done marketing. Um, I study marketing. Um, trend. Uh, how do you say it? Like, um, like uh, business. Like you trading marketing. So yeah. And the thing is, like, you we you learn. You will learn that um, it doesn't matter who is the like let me give you an example like you might buy a chanel bag that is made in a factory but that factory make also other bags with the same leather of the chanel bag the only thing is they will change just one a different thread of the bag or put uh, the emblem of a chanel on it that is what makes the price but you can go buy the same, a different bag with the same leather, the same quality for 80% cheaper than that Chanel bag. Only thing is, that's the scheme. That's the scheme that they are doing. The branding, ink versus org. You know, so that's the scheme of it all. But people buy into it. People do. You know, so you can you cannot blame, you cannot blame it. It's just so whatever it is, when it comes to your career, my lovely, beautiful um about three, you are going to get lots of money, but you are going to feel a kind of a type of a way because you'll be like, but I'm not working as much as I'm getting. Is it really like Take it. You are doing your job and people are paying you what they find worthy of you, what value you are giving it to them. You know, and I really see this happening um, kind of like overnight for you guys. Let's see. Uh, one more. For, yes, thank you. Underneath the deck, you have the full. So leaping and going. So, two of swords is like this. So, you are making the choice, but isn't there yet? So, you have the four of cups together with the two of swords, kind of like going to making the choice. And then you also have the five of swords going to the six of swords. So, for the career card, my lovely, beautiful, um, some of you will move away from schemes that are being made, uh, making the choice to move. Like you might find yourself in a pyramid kind of a situation or in a situation where you don't find it fair how people are treating other people when it comes to your career. 
um, that you will retreat and go and do. But the thing is, some of you will choose for the money, and some of you because the money is good, but the, it's not you. You will you. It's like you kind of like feel your heart is the compassion that you have is kind of working working against this situation right here. So you are doubting to um, do or not do. You know, go or not go. But you guys, your spiritual team is giving you an option to take. And this option is um, going to make you... Because there's a realization happening with you guys when it comes to your career is what I'm getting. There is a realization happening of the world not being that fair, you know? You can ask your guides, your ancestor for help when it comes to this situation. Like you, you are going, it seems like you are going to find out something and it's like, why? Why is this like this? Why are people like this? It's creeping. It's, it's like the tsunami. It's a wake up call. It's really sneaking behind you. And some of you be like, okay, that's how the world is. That's how it works, you know. And some of you, because of who you are, you can you cannot do it. You be like, no, it's not. It's not. It's not supposed to be like this. And you, you, the thing is, you can take that and make something of it for yourself. Teach people how the scheme, how they scheme you. Write your own book. Teach them like, oh, this is how they scheme you of this and this and that. And that will be your fortune. That will be the thing. Like often we think like, oh my God, why do this, why that? But you have to go through this to come to realize, ah, I can use that to make something so of it. Like the, the dark energy claims it to be pure. Like, like, turn it around. But you need to watch out with that, though, because you will, you will make enemies, though. You will make enemies because of that. But th that is something you will move you will move away from some of you when it comes to your career in 2023 there are lots of troubling situation some of you your you will come to find out that your job is in a situation where they are um, going bankrupt or they have like because i'm going back to the factory like they might have a whole like it's given me like one system, but that system has lots of different uh, legs and they like like have different stores names and you'll be like, oh, that store name, this and this and that. But honey, they will bankrupt those names. Like often you will hear, oh, that store went bankrupt, but that person didn't get bankrupt. They just closed the store with the depth of it all and then move forward They with with. It's like a spider body. But whatever it is, what I'm trying to explain to you guys is some of you will come to hear that just the, the, the place went bankrupt or they are in a scheme situation. But you can then make use of that, whatever you have learned from that and create your own thing or write your own book kind of a way. So when it comes to career, my lovely, beautiful pal three, uh, pay attention because it's going to happen out of nowhere. Um, looking at how um, I grabbed also the wrong cause. It's not wrong. It's what you should have. But it's 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 you are unaware of it. Unaware. Till it happened, you'll be like, oh my God, kind of a situation. But you can use it in your advantage. <laughs> That's the other part of it all. So when it comes to love, my lovely, beautiful pal three, you have Jupiter abundance together with indec indecision strategy, my tummy, <laughs> together with the temple pet. I haven't eaten yet today. 
bad, bad, bad. And then also you have dry it, protect your energy. Together with Lilith, face your shadow. And then you also have make a move. Together with pause. So when it comes to love, my lovely, beautiful um, Palturi. You are sassy in love though. You are very, you know what you want when it comes to love. First, you do not know. Looking at the indecision and the past, first, you do not know. But once you come to strategize, you know exactly what to do. Exactly what to do. You guys are going to have lots of um, lovers coming your way. It's giving me abundance of, of partnership. Some of you will even get a proposal, but you don't know yet. Um, if you to say yes or no. And for some of you, you don't know if you should propose to that person yes or no. You are kind of like, need to make a strategy. Do it or not. Looking at the Lilith card, it's a fear. And betrayal. Fear of betrayal. But you can handle it. You can. With love, there is lots of choices uh, you need to make. You guys, your spiritual team is saying, like, really, when it comes to 2023, protect your energy when it comes to love. Because there are lots of people going to come your way. And, and, and really, you, can, you have the choice. Even if they come a lot, you have the choice to, to, um, to take it, the offer, yes or no. Or... Going for the thing you want, yes or no. Some of you already have a person in mind. And you kind of like doubt um, the action taking. Um, you guys, your spiritual team is saying make the move in 2023. If you know what you want and you have planned and you have a strategy. You are not fearing it. Take action. Be bold. Lilith is bold, y'all. So, yeah. Let's take a look. When it comes to love. My lovely, beautiful. Pile 3. For your love card. One more. Thank you. Underneath the deck, you have the tower. So, when it comes to love, you have. The King of Cups, together with the Three of Cups, together with the Ten of Swords. Hmm. You can handle it though. Okay, for some of you, um, this uh, love offer that's coming in, if you are single, there comes a love offer to you guys. Um, somebody very fruitful, somebody very abundant when it comes to love, somebody very stable. But the thing is, because of the past hurt and pain, because of the past betrayal, looking at the shadow work, Lilith, um, it's kind of like you are fearing this new beginning. But you guys, your spiritual team is saying, if you just uh, go slow and steady, you can handle this. You know, you can um, start new, start fresh. Because the Ten of Swords goes to the Ace of Swords. So don't let the past hold you back. Looking at the butterfly, you can do a rebirth. In fresh and new, delicate, yet still fragile, looking at love. But whatever this is, this is something of a lovely kind offer but from a mature person that you guys can be celebrated when it comes to love. Um, for some of you, as I already said, you will um, be proposed to. That person might give you, like, some of you will get married. Looking at the Three of Cups, celebration happening, you know. Um, 
whatever it is, it's something of planning and strategize. But every time when it's in love, it's given me that in 2023, you kind of, uh, neighbors, hello, you kind of uh, don't know um, what to do. Every time if you don't know what to do, because they are coming like very, oof, really, your, this some of you, this is your husband, your husband coming through, okay, or your wife. But it's coming and it's coming and, and it can trigger certain things that you didn't know uh, existed. So it, put a pause on it, kind of like, hold up, wait a minute, process everything. Um, don't go too fast in it as uh, the... Um, through it, protect your energy. Know what you have learned from the past situation, the past betrayals. So if you see a red flag when it comes to love in 2023, do not deny it, okay? Do not. Because then once again, you'll be like, why? Kind of a way. Because you haven't learned your lesson. Protect your energy and do some shadow work. And then a person can come in that is very truthful that is very stable that comes with a love offer and wants to commit to you when it comes to love my lovely beautiful pal Suri. now you don't forget that below you have one minute your zodiac reading so you can check and look when it comes to your zodiac what can you expect when it comes to that um that being said, I do hope I've could have helped you guys. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in another reading of mine. Bye-bye.